Excellency, the Duchess of Grimstone. Your Majesty, I am so sorry for your loss. Please accept this small token of our sorrow at his passing, and may his memory stay in bloom for eternity. Oh, that makes me feel physically sick. They're perfect, and much better than bringing nothing. 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 Mm. Percy! I think LG wants to talk to you, Percy. Percy, I need you to get me something. Shh! What does he want? I can't hear him. Is he having some sort of panic attack, or has he gone absolutely balmy? No, I think it's... I think he's playing charades. Okay, okay, I'm good at this, I'm good at this. Algy, is it a play? No, it's not a play, it's not a play. A book? Oh, for goodness sake, come here. I think you better get over there, Percy. Why didn't you tell me I needed to bring something, Percy? I didn't know, sir. Shh! I'm so sorry, my lord. He needs to cheer up. Now I need you to find me something I can give the king. Something that will really knock his socks off. Like what, sir? Uh, I don't know. Just make sure it's in good taste, Percy. Okay, sir. I'll do my best. Oh, Percy, one more thing. Y yes, sir? Be as quick as you can. It's nearly my turn. Is this some sort of joke, Percy? Why'd you say that? It's a pork pie. Yeah, you, you said get something that tastes good. No, I said in good taste. Oh. But how do you know it doesn't taste good if you haven't tried it? No, it, where on earth did you get it? Uh, at the buffet over there, sir. Ooh, a buffet. How splendid. Shall I take it back? No, 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 Percy. There's no time now. I'm about to go up. Just leave it with me. Algernon Horatio, the Admiral of Bandipore. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss, Prince Ferdinand. I think you mean King Ferdinand now. Oh, yes. Congratulations, you must be thrilled. Enough. What offering have you brought, my father? What on earth is that? It's a pork pie. I thought it would be better than bringing nothing. Well, you thought wrong. Take it away. Oh, no. Please, let me explain. Fine. Explain yourself. Uh, Yes, yes. During my frequent one-to-one -one meetings with your father, the late king, we would often partake in a pork pie to fuel our formidable intellects. How strange I've never seen you before. Of course not. These meetings were taking place in the strictest of confidence. Hmm. What was your name again? Uh... Algernon? Thank you for your kind offering, Algernon. You may leave. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. A million blessings to you. Stop. Have you taken a bite out of this? It's what he would have wanted. Good day, Your Majesty. He looks surprisingly well in that painting, doesn't he, sir? Yes. They must have painted it before he went as mad as a box of frogs. Please show some respect. That is no way to talk about your king. He was an inspiration to us all, right into the end. So tragic the way it happened. Yes. Mad dog disease doesn't care who you are, does it? So unfortunate that I won't get a chance to meet him properly. Hear, hear. It was just such a privilege to know him personally. You knew him personally? You never told me that. Oh yes, Percy, I knew him very well. Shall I tell you about the time I saved his life? You saved his life? How on earth did you do that? With these. Sir, I'm sure I would remember if you ever saved the king. Percy, uh, uh, can you do me a favour and get me a slice of that chocolate cake I was eyeing up earlier? Certainly, sir. Oh, and make sure it's a, a generous portion. Sorry about that. Now gather round. 
forget all you know about bravery, and prepare to be amazed. Without a moment's hesitation, I sprung into action. <sighs> when preparing for the brutal honesty of hand-to-hand -hand combat, you must first purge your body of all impurities. Uh, your chocolate cake, sir? Good work, Percy. N now, where was I? Listen up, everybody! We have received a tip-off that some pirates have infiltrated our island, and we believe they are working for the cats. Oh no, not the cats! We need your cooperation, so don't move a muscle. <gasps> All clear. You can relax. Wait! False alarm. Carry on. Oh, hello, Claude. I must thank you for all your hard work in protecting us today. Hmm. I see you've also had a successful day's work, helping yourself to the finger buffet. Care to recommend anything? Oh, the sausage rolls were to die for. Uh, but I think they might be all gone now. That's a very big slice of cake for just one dog. Uh, um, me and Percy are sharing it, aren't we? Uh, yes. Well, it's time to put the pies and pastries down and get back to work. Gabwell will fill you in. Hello, you two. I need you to... Uh, but I thought we were meant to have the day off, Claude. Oh, he doesn't hang about, does he? As I was saying, I need you to set sail to Panterbury immediately and let them know we have a suspected pirate infestation. <laughs> I think you can just about manage that. Any questions? Uh, yes, C could I finish my uh, chocolate cake first? If I were you, Algernon, I'd stop constantly thinking about your stomach and start taking your job seriously. It would be such a shame if your sorry excuse for a ship were to be decommissioned, wouldn't it? Oh, it all seems like such a waste, Percy. The king was old, sir. No, 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 I'm talking about the cake. Oh, oh yes. Come on, we better get off to Panterbury. Oh, I suppose you're right, Percy. I, I tell you what, I'll catch you up. I just need to dispose of this chocolate cake somewhere first. Oh dear, Percy. Please don't blame yourself. It was to be expected. Those pork pies were breathtakingly good. 